Football 25 Road to Glory. I got early access, and this was made possible by the EA Creator Network. And our goal today is to build a Heisman quarterback and win the national championship. First things first, let's build our player. Road to Glory has four options, and you can think of these as difficulties. You can start your journey as an elite five-star, a blue-chip four-star, a three-star contributor, or a two-star underdog. You're basically a walk-on. For my first Road to Glory, I wanna earn it. We're gonna be a three-star contributor starting at a 67 overall. We get three skill points and no mental abilities. There's five position options. You could be a quarterback, a halfback, a wide receiver, Receiver, a middle linebacker, or a corner, and today we're gonna be a quarterback. There's three archetype options, field general, scrambler, and improviser. My favorite way to play Madden is as an improviser. You can stand in the pocket and throw the ball, but I'm trying to be sneaky athletic, if you catch my drift. We'll start with good elusiveness, accuracy, power, health, and quickness, but we're not the sharpest tool in the shed. My IQ is not looking good. This also determines the five physical abilities you're able to upgrade. For me, that's mobile dead eye, pull down, off platform, sleight of hand, and extender. And one of my favorite parts about this entire journey, they actually have my high school. I went to DeWitt, Michigan. I can't believe they had it. If I can ever grow a stash like this, it's GG's. I'm gonna be 6'1", 205, kind of like a Louisville Lamar Jackson build. Keep in mind, this does not have a significant impact on gameplay, which is a good thing. And when it's all said and done, I like how we look. Let's hop right into the action. There's two programs with a ton of interest in me. There's the Bowling Green Falcons and the North Texas Mean Green. Neither of these are a great fit, though. I'd be a starter today at Kennesaw State. Everywhere else, I'm gonna have to compete for that spot. I'm not gonna go to Kennesaw State, but a team I kinda like is the Sam Houston Bearcats. They run spread, which is very friendly for a quarterback, and their starting QB is a 78 overall junior. Behind him is a 78 overall senior who's gonna be out of here next year. I'm signing with Sam Houston, and we are headed to Huntsville, Texas to compete for a spot. Let's do it. <laughs> there it is, boys, we're committed to the Sam Houston Bearcats. I don't know what drew me to this team, but I'm ready to turn this program into a dynasty or accept $2 million from Kirby Smart to play at Georgia in a year, but hey, loyalty, right? You start with three skill points and it's only two to increase my accuracy. This updates a ton of stats. I think that's a good use of those skill points. And I'll also take my IQ up one because that's just embarrassing. I've got an exam in eight weeks that I need to study for. I did not come here to play school. I came here to play ball. Training drills is a great way to earn coaches trust. I need coach to like me so that I can compete for a starting spot. And so he'll let me facilitate the offense on my own. Let's see what Matt Maher's made of. Just gotta hang out in the pocket and deliver some passes. Now this is a nice drill because every time you make a completion, you increase your multiplier. So to be honest, you can just throw the check down over and over until you get a touchdown and you don't risk losing your multiplier. <laughs> I feel like Tom Brady. Uh, I need you, I need you, I need you. Nice catch, buddy. Little dig in the middle. Oh, I whiffed it. There goes my multiplier. I did all that for what? I got no multiplier. And I missed another one. I like those check downs a little better. I gotta hit this. Come on, baby. Nice catch. First drill is only bronze. I'm sorry, coach. And just like that, it is week one where Sam Houston's gonna take on Rice. Keep in mind, I'm actually the third string. So I'm gonna be just like my favorite quarterback, Alex Moran. Coach just texted me to tell me I'm not getting any playing time. Thanks, coach. Tight end just checked in to inform me that I'm carrying the seniors' pads out to the practice field. I'm about to turn this phone off, bro. Why can't I be like every other college quarterback and just pay someone to do all my classes? We're 1-0, but in week two, we're taking on the UCF Knights, a very tough team. I want to pop in and see how this goes. I'll have a great view from the bench. At UCF, the Knights are walking out, and I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty intimidating. Hey, <laughs> dude, the presentation is so nuts. I'm a true Bearcat right now, baby. Let's go, Sam Houston. Eat them up, cats. I'm learning. I'm learning. At the end of the first, it is scoreless. All defense. Sam Houston's got seven. UCF ties it up. UCF takes a seven point lead. We do get in a field goal. Damn, man. UCF 
runs away with it. It was looking like a good game, but the Knights were a little bit too much for Sam Houston Bearcats. Get our first loss of the season on the road. UCF's running back, RJ Harvey, 150 rushing yards on 28 attempts. That's a bell cap. The rest of my season was a breeze. It was red shirt freshman vibes. I kept my GPA up. I did my best to earn coaches trust and work my way up that depth chart. The Bearcats finished the season six and six and I never saw the field. Seth Hennigan of Memphis won the Heisman, throwing 49 touchdowns and three interceptions. Had I gone to Kennesaw State, I would have gotten a ton of reps my freshman year, but I know that when I do see the field as a Bearcat, I'll definitely be ready. I also got rizzed up by a classmate and thought rejected. Be gone, son! We even earned a bowl game. Although this is no Rose Bowl, we're headed to Montgomery, Alabama to play the Charlotte 49ers in the Camellia Bowl. After season one, we could technically join the transfer portal and look at how many programs would have me as a starter already. Northwestern, UNLV, Navy, Kennesaw State, Air Force, UTEP. We did just lay a framework at Sam Houston, but I'd still have to work my way up the ranks. I'm tempted to jump ship. The Heisman race was very interesting. Not a lot of teams you'd expect to see here. Cayman Rising came in second. I guess you might expect to see that. Then it was Grayson McCall out of NC State. Ted Arroyo McMillan out of Arizona. And Tulane's Ty Thompson comes in fifth. The final top 25 finishes with NC State at the front, then Tennessee, Oregon, Oklahoma State, and Texas A&M. I'm not gonna lie, I was really excited to be a Sam Houston Bearcat, but coach is not ready to start me, and he hasn't even given me a position battle for the second string. Sam Houston was good to me though. We entered this season as a 67 overall, and now we're a 75. I love you coach, but it's time to hit the portal. Now it would be nice to be an instant starter at Northwestern or UNLV, but to be honest with you, I still wanna compete for a spot. I expected to compete at Sam Houston, so I'm gonna transfer to a school where I'm a second string. As much as I like the Hoosiers, that senior quarterback's an 86 overall. I need somebody that I can truly compete with. Take a look at the Minnesota Golden Gophers, an excellent program that just went nine and four. I'd be headed back to the Big Ten, my favorite conference. The starter's only a 78 overall, and they run spread. Look at the Ohio Bobcats. Their starter's a senior, only a 77 overall. They run air raid. They went 10 and four last season. I mean, they'd suck, but I could earn that spot. Put up some crazy numbers. I'm going to Ohio. I'm signing with the Ohio Bobcats, baby. Oh my God, we are committed. We went from a Bearcat to a Bobcat. Let's see how this goes. The news wants to know about my switch. I'm most excited to make a name for myself. And at the start of our season, I take it all back. I thought I would have to fight and earn my spot, but coach automatically readjusted the depth chart. Or maybe our starter transferred because I am now the starter at Ohio. I mean, they suck. I figured I'd be a starter, but no position battle for us. That may come in our next year, but good news. Since I never saw the field at Sam Houston, I was redshirted. I didn't even know that was an option in this game until right now. So this is technically my freshman year. I spent my energy on XP, so wear and tear is taking a toll on my body. This is my first ever game as a starter, and my accuracies are kind of tanked by wear and tear. I really got a show out here against Rutgers on the road. It's time for our first game. For the first time in his career, Matt Maher is trotting out as the starter in Ohio. The Bobcats took a big leap, recruiting Maher out of Sam Houston, where he never played a snap. We'll see if that was the right call in his debut game or a 75 overall. Let's see how this goes. Now, since I haven't earned coaches trust yet, I can't just choose whatever play I want. They give me one play option and 10 play changes. So if I use play change, I'm given two additional options, but I can't click it again. Half back slip screen. You know, if you wanna just take this to the house, I wouldn't be mad at all. My first ever throw is a completion for about 10 yards. Now as cool as this camera angle is, it's kind of hard to see your wide receivers, no? Can't really see the field here. We'll take our check down. I'm gonna have to switch that up. It's like the Bobcats run a lot of read option. We've got read option already again here. He does bite on the running back. We're gonna keep this and run out to the right. I just met a big safety, took a huge hit. Second and 10, we got a star left guard. Let's put our running back right behind him. Nice pull block an excellent 10 yards and coach is trusting me a little more for attempting a block there. 
I'm gonna be honest. If my starting quarterback starts throwing a block, I don't know if I'm gonna trust him. Good news, you can hot route your wide receivers. This might be man coverage, but that's a big linebacker on Hendricks. And it looks like he is gonna clear, put it in nice. And a great catch. Keep in mind, we are an improviser quarterback. I've got 78 speed. I might be able to make something happen with my legs here. Let's roll out right. Look for the end zone and our first touchdown in college football 25 is a two yard scramble. What do you got, Maher? The weakest first touchdown celebration. My teammates like me though, and I love to see that. Rutgers scores with no issue and we're back on offense. Jet touch pass. I do get passing yards for this. So if he wants to take that to the house, I wouldn't be mad. Oh my God, 28, go! Go! Flagged down by the safety. That's 60 passing yards on my resume. I love that. We end this drive with a field goal. Maher almost threw a pick six, but luckily the ball was dropped. Maher bailed out by a dropped interception from a star safety. Rucker quickly answered back with a touchdown of their own, and Maher comes out and is already throwing absolute dots. Threading the needle through triple coverage, and dude, Kareem Hunt's little brother is an absolute monster, fighting for every single yard to get Ohio into scoring distance. Maher picks up a crucial first down to eventually hand the ball off to Hunt Jr. for an easy one yard touchdown. Rutgers scores instantly again. And coach wants Maher to take a deep shot down the left side of the field. The pass was not completed, but there's a flag on the play. It's defensive pass interference. <laughs> the pass interference gives Ohio 15 extra yards. And after a few duds, Ohio is in third and long. Maher clutches up and finds a wide open receiver down the field for a good chunk of yards. And just two plays later, Maher does the unthinkable. I'm hoping this is zone, because Harris is a touchdown if this is zone. Oh, it's not, he drops! Oh, what a mistake. What a huge mistake. This is not Madden. <laughs> I will tell you that right now. The start of the second half was uneventful. A couple checkdowns. But once they got to the red zone, it was time for a big play. I like how this deep cross looks, but I don't want to stare it down. Okay, it is open. Deep cross, caught, end zone! The Bobcats take the lead again! Let's go! Huge drive after half. Also, yes, I'm so sunburnt. I know, it's, it's painful for me too. Defense gets a stop. We could extend this to a two possession lead play action here. Look at him. Look at our tight end. Not a soul on him. Third and seven. Texas route's viable. We're gonna scramble. They haven't stepped up yet, but now they are. And I gotta get rid of this football. Maybe coach was on to something with the draw. We're gonna take a field goal here. 27 to 21. Rutgers punches it in. I have no play changes remaining, and we are down by one possession with three minutes left. Zone fake jet. Motion Hendricks over, handed off to Hunt. Sloan is down outside shade. Nobody's in the middle of the field. And the drag goes for 13. I'm gonna roll out right. If I can bend this corner, I might have this! I broke a tackle, I got rocked! Snap, hunt up the middle! He punches it in. It probably is the right decision. You take the touchdown, but man, if he can kneel that on the one. Big two-point conversion. Potential blitzers. I'm gonna block Bruno. Just in case those are blitzers, I wanna be able to roll out. We're an improviser. Okay. Step up in the pocket, Maher! We don't get the two point conversion, so if Rutgers puts in a touchdown, it's all over. I'm gonna go this at normal speed. Oh! 75 yard touchdown on the opening play? What? Yo! Wait, they scored in, in 14 seconds. We have the ball again. No way. Wait a minute, so it's up to me? Hunt, I want you, oh, that's a blitz. Let's go, linebackers vacate. Let's go. We're in no huddle, boys, we got three timeouts. I'm gonna give a Texas to Hunt. It's been so money all day, there's a seam. You would love that. Stay up, no fumbles. I'm calling a timeout, we need a breather. It's not a blitz. Wise gonna clear, he's got his man beat, what a ball! Out of bounds, or no, yes, yes, yes. 33 to 36. 33 seconds left and you're calling Hatback draw? Coach! Coach, I do not like this play call. All right, coach, I trust you. 
Coach, I hate you. Oh, my 28. Hunt Jr., you savage. Arm bars at the tackle. You're damn right. It's about time. And you're telling me they could still score. With 28 seconds, we have a three-point lead. Rutgers goes for 13. Next play. They go for two. Mm -hmm. Next play. No! How the fuck? How did you just score with no time left? No. It's 40 to 43. We are in hail. Mary. All right. I'm putting seven on a post. I think I got to go X here. I'm stepping up and I'm unloading. Best of luck, buddy. He caught. Drop. It's the final play of the game and our debut. Rutgers puts up 14 points in I think 25 seconds of game time to close the game out. Ajani Shepard, 323 passing yards and five touchdowns. Honestly, an unbelievable debut. Our week two game is at home against West Virginia. Both of us looking for our first win. And after a tough loss to West Virginia, we're taking on an absolute juggernaut. At 0-2, we are facing the Ohio State Buckeyes. I mean, technically, is this a rivalry game? We're both schools in Ohio, but uh, <laughs> I don't think that's how rivalries work in college football. Oh boy, home game for the Ohio State Buckeyes. We're in the shoe. One of the loudest stadiums in college football. One of the best teams in college football. And frankly, this is one of those games where a lot of people don't even show up. Coach wants to start out with Jet Touch Pass. That is music to my ears. This stadium is so loud. The game just started and I can barely see my plays. Luckily, we got Ricky Hunt Jr. Already in a third and long. This game just started. Everybody's cold. How are you all cold? We just started the game. I don't even know if he got that audible. I can't see anybody. Oh my God. I couldn't see a single receiver icon. I didn't have any time to pass. But the Bobcats get a stop on defense and we're back to jet touch pass. First and 10. There's the touch pass. Ricky Hunt, good vision. Uh oh, that's a bad ball. Bruno, you're a savage. We may be able to have a lead going into half. It's possible. There's a blitz. Got around it. Tons of room, but oh, that's risky. Bruno. That was risky. It's first and 10. This stadium's getting nervous now. We're down in the red zone. 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Nobody has scored. Step up. Maher, all the room in the world. He's in. And the Bobcats are the first on the board in the shoe. I can't believe this. Ohio State gets their first points, but it's a field goal. I hope you bet the under. Out of halftime, we have a lead here, gentlemen. I literally just got access to buttons. That's insane. Like. Throughout that entire progression, I couldn't throw to anybody. There's a nice bullet pass. To the boundary caught. No way the 0-2 Bobcats do this, right? We would be keeping Ohio State out of the playoffs. Oh, no! I'm gonna, oh, and I just got ran over! Oh, no. An interception, and I got trucked. Oh, that's like a Mac Jones highlight. No, and they scored off it. I might be the sole reason we lose this game, dude. My defense is playing out of their minds. I tell you what, we would be on the map if we get an upset win over Ohio State. Gotta step up, Maher. You gotta get there, Maher. Oh, I got rocked. It's fourth and one. We're not there. I don't know if they score here. It might be over. They do. Ohio State scores again. It's 17 to 7. I don't like the play action play call, coach, because this line is just depleting so fast. But there's Bruno. Josh Bruno of Ohio. I love you, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth quarter step up. Mm, got it, Maher. Let's go. Get down. Get down. At least I got a complete pass there. CJ Hicks is her. No. Not CJ Hicks. 10 to 20. We get a field goal out of that drive. They get a field goal of their own. We're going to check this down in the middle. I just want to get out of this game alive. Dude, we're putting up such a good effort here against Ohio State, but offensively, this game has been so difficult. I'm going to take the dig in the middle. Bruno is such a consistent guy to throw to, man. That's my boy. Second and 19, it's for pride at this point or maybe a miracle onside kick. Okay, we get out of the pocket clean. We're gonna have a lot of room here. Oh God, you're fast. Third and nine, this could be one of our last plays here. I wonder if coach will let me go for two. Oh, I had RB. And now I'm flushed out by this freak show. Give me a block, Ricky. There's a blitz out of the linebacker. You should clear and I'm dropped. Is that a fumble? No! <laughs> this is so hard. 
Oh my god, I just got steamrolled! Shut up, Brutus. I don't want to hear it, bro. It wasn't the blowout that everyone expected. Playing a program like that was tough. The next day... The season has not been what I was expecting. I thought all my years of playing Madden would give me an edge up, but college football is tough. So far on the season, I've got 11 touchdowns and nine interceptions. I'm happy to be a starter at Ohio, but I have not made the splash that I wanted to. We're two and seven headed into a rivalry game against Miami of Ohio, who's three and six, and we are at the very bottom of the Mac. The good news is it's hard to go lower than rock bottom. We have three games left on this season. My goal is to go ballistic and put my name on the map before the end of the season so that hopefully we can transfer to a contender because playing for these smaller schools has been really difficult. Luckily, I did hoard my skill points for this very moment. We've got 13 skill points to spend. First thing I'm gonna do is grab an ability. I'm gonna start with Mobile Deadeye for improved accuracy on the run. It was three skill points to take that to bronze. And for three more, I can take that to silver. I also like off-platform, which improves my accuracy crossbody or back foot. However, to even upgrade this, I need 90 throw power. I only have 85 right now. So I'm gonna use the rest of my skill points on my attributes. Leaving us at an 80 overall and silver tier mobile Deadeye. I've also activated all my mental abilities right now. I have fan favorite, road dog, and clear headed. Three games left on this season to prove that I should be playing at a contender. I've got the overall, I just need the stats to back it up. Big game coming up for the freshman Maher. Miami starts with a touchdown. We've got to match it. I tell you one thing about Ohio's coach. He loves read option. Dude will not give me a breather. I'm gonna hand this puppy off. That DB's sitting on me. And there goes Ricky Hunt Jr. Dude, like coach, he wants to run it again. Coach, you want to run it again? I'm keeping that. Oh, he turned his hips. And a stiff arm. Yo, okay, Maher. Got a little halfback slip screen here. Let's drop back, roll off it. Blockers are there. Not the best pass, but he's still gonna make moves. I love you, Ricky. Third and four in the first quarter. It's a big conversion right here. We're going play action. That might be a sketchy ball, but a huge catch. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of Ohio's playbook. And it is making things a little more difficult. Third and 10, we gotta convert. Who's gonna be home? Oh, is it Ricky Hunt Jr.? <laughs> Maher! I'm telling you, this game is no joke. That was an easy touchdown, and it's just out of his reach. After the bad throw, Miami ends up scoring again to increase the lead to 14 to three. We ended up getting the ball back, driving down the field, and making some crucial coming up. There's Bruno, wide open! Cut it up, Bruno! Oh! I guess he went out of bounds, stopped the clock. Oh, he's got position! Great catch! Hit the Bobby Schmerder. And after that touchdown, we continued to Boy, dominate Hendricks. Miami. Turn the corner! End zone! By scoring not one, not two, not three, but four unanswered touchdowns. And for the first time in what feels like forever, I'm in victory formation. <laughs> I got to kneel the football. 38 to 28. There's two games left in the season, and it almost looks like the Ohio Bobcats in the Battle of the Bricks may have a little bit of life left in this season. Player of the game, Matt Maher, 353 passing yards and four touchdowns. It feels so good. I'm getting late tonight, baby. Next game is against the UMass Minutemen. Also, I cannot believe I just noticed this, but you can actually adjust your team's offensive playbook. I didn't think they'd give you that option in Road to Glory. Also, interestingly, my playbook was set to Georgia Southern. I've now switched it to Ohio, which is what it should be, right? I'm really interested to see how this impacts the play call. We're gonna find out right now. We start on offense. Oh, this playbook's already so different. Pistol jet touch pass. This goes to Chase Hendricks, and it will give me passing yards too. Let's see how this play looks. Hendricks! Hendricks! Oh, <laughs> what a play. I was gonna throw him a block. Got a little RPO here. I'm just gonna hand this one off, and there goes Ricky. <laughs> I love you, Ricky. I'm not sure how I feel about this, I'm being honest. Maybe Georgia Southern was the move. Bruno, Bruno, good catch! End zone. Beautiful opening drive. Dom Dorwer in press coverage. We saw this last week. I'm gonna try it. I don't know, that's a 50-50 ball! That was greedy. That was greedy. Little play action. I see a lot of guys clearing. Here's a beautiful slant out of, I think, Dom Dorwert. Takes it down the sideline for a huge gain. Right in the middle. What a ball. That could have been better, and he can't fight all the way there. 
but it was a great effort. And on first and goal from the one, Coach is actually gonna give me a pass play. I'm shocked by this. But I definitely trust Chase Hendricks if he's there. I also trust my legs, baby. Maher's gonna get one on the ground. It's too easy, baby. Gotta roll, gotta roll, gotta roll. Can we make this throw? That's so risky. He caught it! Hendricks! Chase Hendricks comes down with a miracle ball. I think this is a blitz out of these linebackers. I think Ricky Hunt Jr. is a touchdown. It's not a blitz, but it's still open. Ricky. Okay, really good blocks. Oh my God. Ricky Hunt. This guy's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. A little decoy motion. I'm gonna hit this dig. Hangs on to it. Nice work. We can take a pretty commanding lead here. Two possession if we can score. I see no D end on the right side. I should be able to roll. Easiest roll of my life, but he's on me. Go for the ball. What a throw. And that's why you get mobile dead eye right there. That was a beauty. Three touchdowns, 244 passing yards. I still got that interception on the record. Oh, you're there if I can make that pass. What a ball. Is that caught? He's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. And since we don't convert there, UMass scores. They have a one point lead. We got to put together a game winning drive here. I don't see much here, but luckily we've got some legs. Wait a second, look at B. He is open, he's got position, good catch. Wow, that's how you make up a play. We have three timeouts. We don't gotta use them right now though. We are in field goal range. I wanna make this as easy as humanly possible for the kicker. Oh my God, that might be a touchdown. Boom, coverage. Hendricks is wide open. That's almost stupid. They almost can still score with this much time left. They have three timeouts. Okay, here we go. Gotta get this two-point conversion to make this a seven-point game. This is absolutely massive. Who do we find? X, keep clearing. Right there, right there! Blown up. I had a throw earlier, too. 34 to 29. If they score in 15 seconds, I'm gonna cry. Defense, I need you for 15 seconds. First play is a 37-yard kick return. I don't like that. Two-yard rush, that's nothing. 22-yard reception. It's our ball. <laughs> and we're back in victory formation. And for the first time this season, we have won back-to-back -back games. The Bobcats take down UMass. 318 passing yards and five touchdowns. I did throw an interception, but we redeemed ourselves. Great game for Maha right there. Talk to me, baby. We get the Mac Offensive Player of the Week back-to-back. -back. But I tell you what, there's one thing I am gunning for. And it's not Mac Offensive Player of the Week. I want National Player of the Week, but I tell you what, man, National Player of the Week is not easy. Look at Ray Ray Joseph. Despite winning, we actually dropped in the Mac standings because everybody else won too. Let's close this season out strong as hell. Headed to Western Michigan for our final game of the season. Western's a solid program too. If I want any shot of being recruited by a contender, I gotta do something crazy in this game. Here's a rare occurrence. It's sunny in Kalamazoo, Michigan in November, but it's a beautiful day for football. Western gets a field goal on their opening drive and Ricky Hunt Jr. doing Ricky Hunt Jr. things, baby. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Hendricks, what a ball. What a beautiful play right there. I love that. Sadly, coach wants inside zone, meaning this touchdown won't be able to go to me. It's a free touchdown, though. And a 7-3 lead with the ball. Dorwart's got press. Come on, baby. Dorwart, you were literally built for this, dude. I hope you know that. Oh, my God. He actually is. Dorwart. Caught. End zone. End zone. End zone. Dom Dorwart. We are dominating right now. Is he there? He may be there. Bruno. What a shot. It's the final game of the season, boys. We gotta make this one count. I gotta throw this escape route right here. Beautiful. It's Ricky Hunt. Bruno? No. Maybe. I just gotta throw something. Oh my God, he's wide open. Way to sit down. Guess who? Ricky Hunt Jr. First and goal. Ricky Hunt Jr. doesn't look like there's a soul over there. Can he get in? He can't. Second and goal. Ooh, this is a risky play call here because they're loading the box. We're going play action power. Oh, they don't blitz. But they don't see the scramble either. Can I get there? Maher, you gotta dive, buddy. Coach is thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Third and goal. QB draw. Get in there. That's why we go improviser, baby. It's 21 to three. And we finally found our stride. 
I know it's the end of the season. I know we're not playing powerhouses, but look at Ricky Hunt Jr. There's Don Dora in that same scene. What a catch. You guys are playing out of your minds. Good box. Could pass it, could run it. We just got to take this in nice and easy. It's 28 to 3, and we start with the ball. This is the kind of dominance I wanted all season. I'm happy we're getting it now. Beggars can't be choosers, man. I'm just happy to get a good game under my belt. A real good one. All right, this might be a tough one here. Is that escape route money? Oh, the A. Look at you. Is that Josh Bruno again? Or Jake Bruno? I don't think I have anything this time. Just take the angle. My her breaks a tackle and a stiff arm. Ricky. 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 Ricky Hunt Jr. Texas route. It's a cheat code. Yeah, coach probably should have subbed me out by now, to be honest. You should be putting in the backup. Let him get some quality reps for the last game of the season. His parents are in the stands, for Christ's sake. We still got all the starters in. Maybe this is what Mac football looks like. I don't watch Mac football. I have no idea what it looks like. I really like this concept here. Play action read with a deep cross out of the tight end. And he's going to clear. It'll be a tough catch. But he makes it. <laughs> I'm going to block Harris here. And see if I can get this escape route out of Bruno. I almost think he can, and he gets in! Dude, look at that stutter step to stay in bounds. And that is all she wrote. Western Michigan fans are driving home cold and sad. 51 to 17 in undoubtedly my best game ever. 406 passing yards, six total touchdowns, four in the air, two on the ground. No interceptions. And wow, all of our stud players played amazing. Bruno, Ricky Hunt Jr., Chase Hendricks, there's Dom Dorward. Oh, it feels good, man. It feels so good. Johnny Steele wants to know why Ohio's doing so good. I'm taking all the credit. Just kidding. I'm going to credit my teammates. Honestly, I do have to credit my teammates. Ricky Hunt Jr. is a big reason. National Offensive Player of the Week in our final game of the season. We finally got put on the map. National Offensive Player of the Week for our 406 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions, and two on the ground. And just like that, our second year of college football has come to a close. Gunnar Stockton wins the Heisman at Georgia with 44 touchdowns and eight interceptions. For comparison, we finish our season with 3,300 yards, 23 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. We obviously wanted a better season, but keep in mind, we redshirted at Sam Houston, and this is our first technical year of college football. So we've got three more years to prove that not only can we be a Heisman contender, but we can win a national championship with a great program. I just don't think that program is going to be Ohio. So we close out the season with massive overall boosts, three incredible games, and a National Player of the Week award. I think the transfer portal is going to look pretty crazy. Headed into our sophomore season, things look a hell of a lot better in the portal. We could be a starter at so many programs. Temple, Akron, Tulsa, Toledo, Indiana would start me right now. Kansas would start me right now. Michigan State would start me right now. Baylor, Purdue, Washington State. I love that team. <laughs> Sam Houston would take me back. What do you know? <laughs> Iowa. Bro, Iowa's a dream school. God-tier defense, and I could turn around the offense. I would start at Auburn. Frankly, there's very few teams where I wouldn't be the starter. I would start at Alabama, Miami, Clemson. Oh. One thing's for certain, we have a massive decision to make. If there's one thing I can ask from you guys, please let me know in the comments what program I should transfer to. But that's it for this episode. We'll pick up as we transfer and we'll see how our sophomore season goes. By the way, I know this was a really expedited video. Normally I'd show a lot more games, but this is only the beta and I don't have access to everything. I plan to do a much more thorough Road to Glory showing each game, all of my progression, but I just wanted to give you guys a little taste. I hope you guys enjoyed, I love you. I'll see you soon on the next episode. Peace.